Hey y'all, it's Janine, and I wanted to show you how to achieve this silver and black manicure. I'm going to a wedding this week, and these are the colors of the wedding. So I thought it'd be nice to uh, kind of be decked out appropriately, not only the way I dress, but my nails too. I started with two coats of Wet n Wild uh, Wild Shine Nail Polish in a silver color. And I'm going to use Bundle Monster Plate number BM21, uh, just that pretty scroll design. And I'm going to use Wet n Wild Wild Shine Polish in black cream as my stamping color. And as usual, just paint the color onto uh, your design. And with these designs that have a finer and smaller lines to them, I find that it works best if you scrape very lightly or you'll scrape all the polish out of the design and then just find the placement on your nail and place the design and you want to keep this one fairly straight and even because we're going to be doing a little something with the tips and we want it to look nice and so you just continue stamping I'm going to do all the nails this time I'm not going to do a separate accent nail and again just a nice light little scrape so that we pick up all the finer points of the design The next polish I'm working with is by ELF and it's called Glitter Glam and it is a very dense uh, glitter polish with very fine glitters in it so it comes out quite opaque um, it's almost too thick it's a little bit difficult to work with sometimes but just to do a little bit on the tip it's actually perfect and again you just want to be somewhat neat with it because it uh, it will hide some imperfections but uh, if it's really wonky, it's going to look kind of funny, so you want to keep it fairly neat and even and straight across the tip of the nail. And again, I do all, all nails in this method. And you see, it just adds a little extra something, a little extra bling to the look. And then just take your favorite clear top coat. This is a fast drying one that I love. And I wish I could remember the name of it. It all scraped off of the bottle. I, it actually just wore off quite easily. And you do want to put a little bit of a thick coat of this to cover that glitter polish. Because that glitter polish is quite uh, rough in texture. So you want to make sure everything feels nice and even and smooth. And we're all done. Just a little clean up. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I hope y'all have a great day. As always, peace and love.